what's up? This is John from John Vance Pro Photography, and today you're gonna to be hanging out with me on a full engagement session. This was an engagement session I did in Charlotte, North Carolina recently, and obviously I'm gonna be shooting it with my Fujifilm X-T3. For my lens loadout, I have the 16 f2.8, the 23 f2, the 35 f2, and the 56 f1.2. If you have any questions about what you see in the video, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to try and get you an answer. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon where I'm gonna have exclusive raw footage of me directing my clients and how to pose. So let's go ahead and get into this engagement session. We're just gonna hang out today, have a good time. Don't take anything too seriously. We're just gonna have fun, to hang out. Think of it almost as like a little date for you all. <laughs> and we'll just take some pictures and we'll kind of roam around. The start of an engagement session is extremely important. This is the first time you're probably meeting your couple in person and the first time they're gonna be taking photos with you. Communication is key with your couples. Make sure they understand what's happening, make sure they understand your approach, and make sure they understand what you want from them. This is gonna make them more comfortable. Keep in mind in customer service, which photography is mainly customer service when you're shooting people, expectations are key. Expectations make sessions go smooth. Expectations make weddings go smooth. Keep in mind this engagement session is gonna be your first impression with the couple of how you approach taking photos and how they feel while they take photos with you. It is very crucial to impress them at this stage because you may lose them even if they've already booked you for their wedding. Emily, lay your head on Ethan's shoulder. There you go. Beautiful. And then Ethan kind of look over at her. You can turn your whole head a little bit. <laughs> there it is, cute. Try to look at each other. I know, so that's all day. I'm gonna try and see how far you can contort your... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bring your foreheads together, as I like to call it, head cuddling. There it is, beautiful. And then one little kiss in there. Beautiful. And then let's just do a nice, looking right at the camera. I'm gonna have you all stand. Yeah, this is our safety zone. So stay inside this shade, yeah. So the lighting this day wasn't the best at all. It was around 3 p.m. and I thought I was gonna have a cloudy day, but it was just clear skies and the light shining down. You can see it cutting through everywhere, just shadows all over the place. When you have a day like this, you're gonna wanna look for the shade. Your shade is absolutely the most important thing that you can find on a day like this. It's easy to work around when you have the shade because you have enough lighting, but you don't wanna put your couples in that direct sunlight because you'll get squinting and also you'll get weird shadows on their faces. Foreheads together again. <laughs> you can actually, you can stay down where you were, Emily. I kinda like Ethan having to come down to you a little bit. It makes it kind of cute, like he's a, a big giant. You all ever dance together at all? No, really. <laughs> well, do just a little bit of a slow dance. Okay. And if you can, try and throw a little spin in there. Okay. There it is, that was perfect. So you lied to me. <laughs> Y'all can dance for real. <laughs> and then Emily, lay your head in Ethan's chest. Y'all are like the perfect height size, yeah. And you just hold her around. 
you can bring your other hand kind of down by his hip and stuff. There it is, perfect. Yep, eyes at the camera first, beautiful. And then Ethan kind of looked down at Emily. There it is, that's perfect. Yes, Emily, eyes right at the camera still. And then go ahead and close your eyes, Emily, like he's the most snuggliest bear. There it is, perfect. Still like that, one more moment. Y'all are too cute. Let's do a little bit of walking. Remember, your engagement session is a time to hype up your couple and make them feel extremely comfortable while taking photos with you. You want them to feel super comfortable so that when you get to their wedding day, they already know how you're gonna approach everything and will be ready and willing to take photos on their wedding day. All right, go ahead and walk whenever you're ready. Yep, that's good. Y'all can go a little bit faster too. Yeah. Cute. Awesome, perfect. Let's go ahead and, um, there's like a little bridge kind of under over that way. Could you all stand here for me? Um, and what I want to do is match the symmetry of the lines. Yeah, so pretty much how y'all are standing exactly, except hold hands and have a little bit of space between you. Yeah, exactly, just like that. And then step apart just a bit to match the lines and then like turn just the bit, but not your bodies as much, more so your togetherness. Yeah, you're right there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's always the hardest part explaining all that stuff. Like, yeah, like it's in my head. So y'all are gonna kind of look almost over me. Y'all look at each other. Beautiful. Look in opposite directions outside of the bridge a little bit. Not too far, Emily. There it is. Beautiful. Try and lean in for a kiss if possible. And then we're gonna do a normal spin. So you're gonna kind of put your back on it and you'll back into him. There you go, cute, yes, that's perfect. And let's actually, let's bring your arms kind of up and above like a bear hug. Yeah, we want to stay away from any type of maternity photos. I know, that's what <laughs> When you're posing, make sure to be very aware of where everyone's hands are. Like you saw there, if you hold each other around the stomach, that turns into a maternity photo and it's not time for that yet. As a general tip, bear hugs work really nice. The guy looks nice and like he's kind of holding and protecting his lady. For the ladies, they can put their hands on his arm or his shoulders or chest and that keeps the man looking strong. So we just finished up the first section of the engagement session. Typically my sessions go about two to three hours and we do two locations and one outfit change. So now we're moving to a new location and my couple's gonna change their outfit. To work an outfit change into your engagement sessions, just make sure you plan out your locations with a spot where there's a bathroom or somewhere that they can stop and change their outfits. It's really not too hard to plan it out that way. At this session, there was a Best Buy close by and they ran in there real quick, ran into the bathrooms and changed their outfits. Throw a kiss in there. 
Yes. Exactly. Oh yeah, this works too though. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get into our more attitude. So both you all grab one side of the wall. So you're gonna be totally separate from each other. Yep. Um, Ethan, go ahead and put your back on it and then put like a leg up like you just like you're chilling. Yeah. There to hand it for yeah. And then look at each other. Look at that guy. Look at that model you found. Hold her nice and tight over the top. Uh, one more step back to my left. Right there, perfect. Yeah, so hug her from the top. There it is, yep. I know it's a little. Beautiful, one more head to head. <laughs> For shots like this where I have my couple walking towards me, I generally will use continuous autofocus. I switch from single point to zone autofocus and then just keep them within the zone square. You can make the zone fairly big on the X-T3, so that works out for walking like this. I do this at weddings as well. Yeah, that's good. Let's, uh, let's see if we can pull this out a little bit. Do, should you unbutton it or no? I can do that. Is that better? Yeah, that works, but yeah. It just looked kind of... Yeah. Usually it is one button, for, but for that, I don't know, it wasn't working. Yeah, every now and then it doesn't work. Cool, so for this one... Let's see, look at each other. Yeah, we'll do that again. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and hold it. So here I'm taking a Brenizer shot. I'm gonna make a dedicated video of that and link it up above once it's done. But basically it's where you take multiple photos with a longer lens. You see I'm using my 56 here and then you photo merge them all in Lightroom. One tip while taking Brenheisers is count while you take your photos so that you know where you are within your square of where you're taking photos. And then after you take off your shots, you import it into Lightroom and you photo merge and you'll get a nice large photo with more depth of field to it. And then stay how you are. Another kiss. So whenever you're ready. So here I have my couple playing one of my couple games as I call them. It's something silly that we can do that will get some natural laughs out of them both. You can see exclusive footage of how I directed them on my Patreon page. Yeah, so that's why I like, yeah, that looks like it's not much, but I'm gonna shoot it long, you're only gonna be close to me, so that's just gonna turn into like a nice little like red kind of like background, it should be cool. So this should be perfect spacing. So just right about here in the middle. So we'll do another nice classic chest to chest. I love the chat with my couples about the technical side of photography. What you heard earlier was me explaining the end of compression and what it does with longer lenses. 
Don't be afraid to talk about the quote unquote nerdy side of photography with your couples because it lets them know that you actually know what you're doing. You're not just a person with the camera hitting the shutter. You know the techniques and the quote unquote science behind photography as well. Basically everything just gets kind of the color of everything it's so good so one reason i absolutely love my xt3 as well is that the photos look great on the back of the camera so i have more confidence to go ahead and show my couples a couple of the photos that i've taken to really get them excited about their photos so what did you think of that engagement session? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page where you can support the channel and also check out some raw footage from this session of me directing the couple. Thank you again for hanging out on the channel. Don't forget to hit that thumb and subscribe and I will catch you all next time. All right, peace.